James from Woodstock, Georgia asks, Shortening games is all but guaranteed with 16 to 17 games in the expanded playoff. As college football commissioner, how would you achieve this? Well, James, the first thing I would do is nothing, and I would actually go in reverse. You see, going backwards is not always anti-progress. If you turn left down a dead-end road, James, and I'm in the passenger seat saying, the, the GPS is wrong. It can't mean this. I'm just yelling at you like Dwight Schrute. If I throw it in reverse, I'm not killing progress. I'm saving you from running into a dead end. And that, in a lot of cases, is how I felt about some of the changes in the sport. So, yeah, we're headed towards an expanded playoff. And, yeah, we've already got measures being taken to shorten football games. Yeah, when I'm college football commissioner, we're not doing a thing more to shorten football games. What we may do... What we may do, and this is not going to be popular in the room I'm going to have to be in as the commissioner, is I may look around and I may say, I look at how many billions of dollars are on these sheets of paper in front of me. And I'm going to humbly suggest that you and you and you, I'm just looking at all the networks in the room at that point, I think you guys can do with shaving one 30-second ad break per media timeout off of your ad sales. And they're going to look at me sideways like I just spoke to them in Mandarin Chinese and I'm going to say it again. Yes, I am saying leave some money on the table for the betterment of the overall product. Two of them fainted already before I even finished the sentence. Because when it comes to the best interest of the sport, as far as the people in that room are concerned, it actually has very little to do with what the best interest of the sport is. Like the best interest of college football to them is what serves the big media companies. And they're not evil. I'm not doing the whole thing where I, I wave a torch in front of every major media logo, the ESPNs and the CBSs. I work for CBS. I'm not doing that. But what I am saying is when, when they came to us a couple of months ago, and they said, we've got to pass these new rules because the games are taking too long. I realized they actually thought we were stupid enough to not understand what was going on. They thought we were actually so stupid as to be convinced college football games have gotten longer. Like we've added minutes to the clock. They've got, they haven't gotten longer. The runtime has gotten longer because you've got 45 seconds more of ad break in each break than you used to have. And that adds up. You run 12 to 15 ad spots over a random Saturday afternoon broadcast, and all of a sudden, at 45 extra seconds a pop, you're getting over five, sometimes closer to seven or eight minutes more run time. And that's not even to account for how much longer half times are and how many ad breaks are sold, especially on the bookend ad breaks going into and out of a timeout. And they looked at you and they said, we got a problem. Oh, really? What's the problem? College football games are too long. We got to change the clock rules. Are you changing anything about yourself? Absolutely not. No, we're not changing anything about ourselves. What do you want us to do? Give up money? We need all this money. And then, and this is the capper, and this is what really gets me. I don't think our audience does this, but some of the more casual-minded amongst us do. Some people actually clap like seals <laughs> whenever those those conferences release those staggering new dollar figures and those media deals. Some people start beating their chest. Look at how much money we're making. We? Whomst? Whomst is we? We, the SEC. Really? Could you show me that check when it shows up in your mailbox there in Woodstock, Georgia? Could you show me that? I don't think you can. Hey, uh, down, there, down there in Meridian, Mississippi, could you screenshot the direct deposit that the SEC sent you? No, you don't have it. Why do you care? How does it impact you if the SEC made 13 million less dollars a year? How does it impact you? Answer, it doesn't. And yet they've convinced some of you to, to hold the shield for them so they don't have to take the criticism. I wouldn't shorten games at all, is my answer. And if that gets me ousted as college football commissioner, whatever. But no, I wouldn't shorten games at all.